Hello everyone, welcome to another week in our beautiful sunny garden but if you look over my shoulder you can see a massive rainstorm coming so we just hope we can pick these apples and get a few pumpkins in before that gets above us okay now as you can see the apples are lovely and red now they are ready if I lift one up it just comes away so that means they're ready now we've had one or two frosts this week so we really do need to get these in today we just hope the storm will hold off long enough for us to get them we're going to pick them into baskets and then we'll get them to the shed and then lay them out but we'll show you that later but it's just a case of picking them up lot and they just give up straight away let me show you another one you just lift them and they're off if you have to pull then they're not ready these are just coming off on the right oops that one didn't let me use both hands because they are lovely apples let's look at that beautiful now they're very clean but as you can see they've had a wasp or something on that one but we'll take that up and diane might be able to cut that out and use that one straight away they're lovely and clean as you can see that's because we've had the grease bands on and everything to protect them they've done very well a huge crop it's going to take quite a bit of time to pick them as you can imagine so we'll fill a basket and show you and then we'll get on with it beautiful apples i'm afraid it's going to take more than one person to pick all these so we'll get them picked between us and then we'll come back to you and show you what we've got now we've stopped because i do believe the storm is above us now we're getting the squall winds which are usually in front of the rain so what we're going to do we're going to gather up and get back up to the shed where at least we might be dry we'll probably go for a cup of tea and then come back later hopefully when the sky's cleared a little now you can see we've picked two baskets and there's an awful lot of apples still left on this tree it's beginning to rain now so we're going for a cup of tea hello everyone we're back down at the apple tree going to do this harvesting now yesterday we got rained off quite heavy rain it wasn't forecasted but we can't really store apples that are wet so we packed up yesterday and we're going to have another go today as you can see there's still quite a few on there to harvest so we'll get these harvested and then come back to you and we'll go and look at the pumpkins and the squashes that's the apples done they were very ready as soon as you touch one another one would drop off now there's the apple harvest for today We've got quite a few in the shed that we actually picked yesterday so we'll get them all together and show you the finished job these are some of the apples that we've just picked down there they look so good we had to show you them now the ones at this end are not so red these are the ones that were under the canopy in the tree so what we'll do we'll use those first for cooking they're lovely and sweet make wonderful pies now you've just seen the ones outside in the baskets these are the ones that we picked yesterday and i've started to lay them out on the table you see there's quite a few the thing to do is to put them in without them touching each other and then every day when i come to the shed i can more or less look up and down the rows and any that's going bad i can take them out i always find that's the best way of doing them now this year i've put them on this mesh it's a rubber mesh i don't know where i got it from but wherever i got it from i actually bought the roll and it's i couldn't find it but this year i found it and i've used it for below the apples it's nice and soft and pliable no sharps on it at all so the apples will sit on that beautifully right let's go down and pick some pumpkin now we're down at the pumpkin patch 
and uh, because this year I was having my knee up they've had to fend for themselves this year so they're not quite as big as normal but they're usable and the smaller ones will go for decoration we'll harvest some put them in the wheelbarrow I am going to actually take most of them because I need to get them into the greenhouse to mature them because what are decent obviously the granddaughters will want. Now we'll lift the pumpkins that are ready and then have a look at the squash. So as you can see some have made good size some haven't made size at all but Diane likes the very small ones she uses them for decoration in house over Halloween it makes it look nice. Now when you're Remember when you cut them, this is still very green. So cut well away from the pumpkin. If you cut it just here, that'll bleed and then it'll go rotten. Now, when you're cutting the pumpkin, normally I like to see this nice and brown, but with the weather being like it is, I'm having to take them a little bit early. So I'm putting a long stalk on them and cutting well away from the fruit. We'll put these in the wheelbarrow. I'm going to pick these and fill the wheelbarrow and take them up to the shed. Okay, one or two's showing a bit of rot on there, look, so we'll just whip that off. You get plenty of stalk on them, they'll be fine. That's a nice small one, huh? I'll have that. Right, we'll get these loaded into the wheelbarrow and take them up to the shed. Also, remember not to pick them up with these stalks because they could easily snap off. Until they're really brown, just be careful. There you go. Now we're in the squash arch, as you can see, doing very well. Again though, they've had to look after themselves this year, so they've done very well. Very pleased with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest some that are ready. You know where you put your nail in it and if it's soft, it's not ready, but if it's hard, it is. All the squashes are like that. So if there's one or two ready, we'll take them away because we are getting some pretty bad weather and we are getting frost. So we'll just, we'll just take these weird and wonderful ones. When it's had a wash up at the shed, that looked quite nice actually. Again, plenty of top on. I couldn't get a lot with that one. Really do need to be browner than that really do need to be browner than that when you harvest them that's a better one look. you see how the tops go in nice and brown that's when you know they're ready but as i say the the weather's against us so i'm going to have to take some early i'm going to have to take some of these because as you can see everything's dying back and Everything's against them. We'll try and mature them in the in the greenhouse or the shed. I'll take it off as long as I can. But you see, it's it's nicely on its way. It should be all right. It looks like a spaghetti one, actually. That one. I'll get a few harvested and put them in the wheelbarrow and let you see what we've uh, taken early. Okay. We've taken quite a few of the squashes but some of them are not quite ready yet. So I'm going to, well, as you can see, I'm going to risk it a little bit longer to see if we can get them to mature a little bit more outside. I just hope we get some nice sunshine and warm days that will bring them, bring them through. If not, we've got a good pile in the wheelbarrow, we'll be all right. Now these 
are the pumpkins and the squashes that we've harvested a little early the ones we've left we'll just have to chance and just hope the weather doesn't get too bad for them there's a wonderful array there this one I don't know what musical instrument that one looks like I'm sure now that's the little harvest for today and the apples don't forget and yesterday because of the rain now that will be about it for this week's harvesting but I just want to say that for next year the next growing season if there's anything that you would like me to grow please let us know and we'll have a go at growing it providing they're not trombone squashes they have been they've been quite good to grow actually quite fun <laughs> now a lot of people say well you should try that we did actually try one when it was a, a small one when it was a bit younger because they say that's the time to eat it and it's not really a cup of tea trombone squash I'm afraid I like squashes but not trombone I'll stick to the button I think now as I said that will be it for this week we've got a little bit of harvest done for you next week I think I'm going to do a hanging basket the front troughs at the front of the cottage want doing and also I want to show you how I prepare the ground for next year's cauliflowers because I want some real big cauliflowers next year I don't want them to blow like they did this year but that's next week so as I said, that'd be it. Thank you for watching. Many, many thanks for subscribing. We do appreciate it. And the sun's coming out now. I can feel it's lovely. So many, many thanks for watching. And hopefully we'll see you next week. Bye now.